I thought I was going to Golden Corral. What the hell is this crap? Now how the hell do you turn a buffet into a dollar store? Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Greetings, everybody from Cincinnati, Ohio. I don't, I, I don't even know what to make of this one. We we all talk about Dollar General and how they build locations everywhere, including the surface of the moon. If you say Dollar General three times with your eyes closed, one will pop up. But this is a new one. While yes, I know I can get food in here. No, I don't want to pay and have to make it. I'd rather just go pay for it and be able to eat it. Even though Golden Corral's food is subpar. Anyway, we're here at this Cincinnati location. We discovered this a long time ago, and it was late. It was closed for the night when we were out here, but I said we had to come back and check it out just to see what it looks like on the inside because I'd never seen one like this. It's still Golden Corral. And it, I was looking at the entrance there. Behind the lettering, you can see the bolt marks for where it said Golden Corral. So... I don't know when it closed and became this. If you know, please let us know in the comments. Yeah, it's a very unique looking building. Wait, you mean I can't go in here and get unlimited salad? No. I can't get hush puppies either. Oh man, I wanted to get macaroni and cheese too. I was thinking that. It's my birthday. Well, you can get mac and cheese, but then you have to make it. No, I want to go and have it pre-made. I want to go sit down, I want to get my food and eat and have a nice day. But no, you gotta cook it. Yeah, well, I don't wanna have to cook it on a birthday weekend. We go out to eat. Hell yeah. Like hell, we'd ever go to Golden Corral though to eat. Well, we can't, cause it's not even here anymore. Well, I guess we have no choice. Let's go in and buy some birthday food. All right, let's go ahead. I don't know what the hell kind of birthday you, you plan on having. Who the hell has a birthday at Dollar General? That is the shittiest birthday you could ever have. Yeah, and I'm not even bleeping that out of the video. I mean, unless, <laughs> unless that's what you choose to do, but I mean... What do you want to do for your birthday? I want to go to the dollar store. Well, actually, if it was Dollar Tree, that'd be a lot more fun. Yeah, I mean, come on, you guys. Can you guys this fan cool. fancy it up a little bit? Don't go to the dollar store on your birthday. Go to Five Below. At least they're cool. Anyway, here's another look at it and we'll go inside. I mean, it's definitely one of a kind. i never seen one like this. Yeah, this is definitely a new one. Let's see if they got the uh, chocolate fountain running in here somewhere. They better. This is definitely different. Definitely different. It doesn't even... It doesn't even resemble it. Wow. I don't know where the... Where's the buffet? Where... There's their stock room. You see any food in there? I don't. I can't even get in there. It's like they're hiding it. I mean, they even redid the floor, too. Bathrooms. What? Holy cow, what a mess. Look at this. It's like a hurricane hit people probably looking for the buffet and that chocolate fountain. It's got to be around here somewhere. Let's just keep looking. Let's keep walking around the back. We look into all these aisles. Nothing. Well, they do have a bunch of Hot Wheels. My luck, they won't have any treasure hunts, though. They never do. Oh, trying to breathe a little bit. I can't believe this. I had to dig. Super treasure hunt. 
super, not a regular one. But the real riders, they just stocked this and I just got lucky as hell. All right, so the ironic part is I found a super treasure hunt, but I didn't even find a regular one. I don't know if that's just sheer luck or someone wasn't paying attention or some kid just grabbed the regular treasure hunt and didn't know or think, but I got lucky. That's an expensive Hot Wheels car right there. All right, continuing on. Well, at least I found food. This isn't a buffet. You don't just pay one price and you can help yourself. I got to pay for every single thing here. Ugh. Well, since I'm in Pencil, since I'm a Pennsylvania boy, I'm not used to seeing that in a dollar store. <laughs> Never even seen that Baja Flash. Oh, they got a nice big beverage selection, as opposed to Golden Corral. No chocolate. Well, I take that back, but it's not a fountain. Nice amount of snacks and cookies. So looking around to the back of the store, I'm in the food aisles, that's great and dandy. You know, I tend to like Golden Corral's mac and cheese. They have it here. But I have to make it. Damn it. Check these out. Birthday cake rice crispy treats. It's Kayla's birthday weekend. Let's buy a box. I know she likes them. They got cookies and cream too. One thing I do like about this store is you can tell like where the roof used to be for Golden Corral and how they did nothing with it. But then here they put a drop ceiling in, put all new lighting in to try and disguise it. But we know what you are. We know what this place was. You can't fool us. Oh well, I think I'm gonna wrap up looking around in here. I know Kayla wanted a drink. She wanted an energy drink. She likes that watermelon Red Bull, but that's okay. I just love the layout of the store. If we had more time, I'd go through all those DVDs, but that is a lot of DVDs. They have Back to the Future though. I happen to notice that. That's cool. Doc. Do little but yeah pretty big store obviously very interesting layout because of what it once was and it sets up for something pretty unique okay well let's head on out of here they got that door there on one side and because of it being an old golden crowd you got a door on this side so let's go out this way what the heck <laughs> definitely different look at this look at this from the outside so weird but it's unique I like it all right well that's gonna wrap up our look here at Dollar General on the grave of a uh, old golden corral it just makes me mad because all the food they had in there I have to make it myself of course it's probably all better than what golden corral has anyway except for hush puppies they don't even have those in there at least those I'd be willing to make all right, well, I guess we're gonna take off from here while Kayla gets all fancied up and puts her makeup on for us to go to an actual nice dinner. Yeah, you know, like an actual nice dinner, like a uh, Gold Star Chili. Man, bat a thousand today. Hey, it's your birthday. You do whatever you whatever wish. Whatever I want, anything I want. I'm okay. gonna regret that. Okay, let's go to the Ruth Chris Steakhouse. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, let me just sell the car first. Or five guys. What would be more expensive at this point? Five guys. When you get done paying for the two of us, it's like you paid for five guys' as meals. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you guys want to know what we're doing for my birthday? We're going to eat at Condado Tacos. Yes, very good place. Getting that Korean barbecue taco. Oh my god, I love tacos. <laughs> I love Mexican food. I love Korean barbecue. All that food holds a special place in my heart, and I'm going to go eat it because it's my birthday, and I wouldn't want to spend it with anybody else. Aww. So sweet. Sometimes. I do love... I'm always... Always. You and me. I don't know. But you know what? I do love Condado Tacos, but you know what I don't love about them? How every single one of their locations are conveniently placed where it's the most inconvenient to park. 
Well, besides the one in like Lawrenceville, I think that in Pittsburgh, that one's pretty easy to get to. That one ain't too bad. But all of them require you to pay to park, I noticed. Unless you go on a Sunday or after 6 o'clock. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and the look at this unique Dollar General. My goodness, I'll tell you what, they really will put one wherever. I mean, I'm waiting for them to put one inside of like a Sears Auto Center, an old shop and say, I mean, that that's actually more like it. Where could they put one? I heard they're putting one up in Kennywood. You go Honestly, ride up the roller coaster into the store. Rumor has it that they're putting one inside of the old C3. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked. If you go in there, like I said in the intro, everybody, you go in there, you close your eyes, and you say Dollar General three times, one will appear. I wouldn't be so surprised if another one appeared right here in this parking lot. Dollar General, Dollar General, Dollar General. Wait, wait, wait. Literally, if you look across the parking lot, like, if you look up east... You're going to see one. It's like right across the parking lot. Yeah, right next to... Is that Long John's? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a Gold Star. No. I've never been to Gold Star before, but I've heard people say they've got violently sick there, and I don't want to I, I bet they do at LJS, too. And Taco Bell. And Bueno. There's no Taco Bueno in Cincinnati. I know that. All right, let's go eat some real tacos. I'm hungry. Okay. It's my birthday. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like. Wish Kayla a happy birthday. And we'll talk to you later. Take care. Stay awesome, everybody. Have a Dollar General delicious day. And one more thing to add. Um, if you guys want to buy me a birthday gift, um, please don't do that. Instead, take the money that you would donate to me and donate to Frankie's Friends, which is a wonderful organization. Wally will leave a link to them in mm -hmm. his description box. Or if you can't donate to they Frankie's Friends. take care friends, of animals and If kitties. you're unable to donate to Frankie's Friends, donate to any cat rescue or shelter in your area. Yes. And honor me. It doesn't even have to be cats. It could be pet Any shelters pets. in general. Any pets in general. Fur babies. Yeah. Make a donation, a contribution, donate a bag of food or toys or whatever pets might need or whatever your local shelter may need and Call them, help them see out. See what kind of supplies they need because they give so much and mm -hmm. we should give back to them. Yeah, exactly. They took good care of our kitties. So, And this would have taken good care of my belly if it was Golden Corral until... On you know, my birthday. Yeah, until I started digesting it and then I'd be in the bathroom the rest of the day. That's why we're going to Condado Tacos. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.